Alright guys, what's up? This is RBT, and I don't normally make hate weeks videos. I usually just make my preview prediction videos for the Alabama games, but frick. Some of the stuff that I've been seeing AM fans in general saying, especially I saw a video that Haas uploaded in the comments that he's getting. God, these AM fans are stupid and they're <laughs> absolutely pissing me off at how ignorant and stupid they are. It's, it's ridiculous. Um <laughs> and just the, the bandwagon, just the bandwagon mentality that's just coming on all of a sudden. Where are these A&M fans two years ago? Where are these A&M fans making such a big commotion about everything two years ago? They're all bandwagon fans. They came out of nowhere. Half the fans probably don't even know half the team because all they know is about Johnny Football, who is the biggest disgrace in football. He is the best player in football. That's that's uh. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's the best overall, not the best football player, but the best college football player, if you can get what I'm saying there. Makes plays. We all know that. Just the way, just, we all know what happened to him in the offseason. He's exposed. He's not a leader. He's, he just doesn't, I mean, you can't call him trash. You can't do that because, I mean, there's a difference in between, I mean, he, I I won't lose complete respect for him until he does something illegal. He does something bad. I mean, he's just. I mean, okay. I'm trying not to contradict myself here. He's he's doing stupid things, but they're not. He's not going out and killing people. He's not going out there and um, driving under the influence. He's not doing horrible things, but he's just doing stupid things. And that shows. That shows he he's he's. He doesn't know how to conduct himself in the right way. And if you're a quarterback that wants to go on to the NFL, you're a quarterback that wants to lead your team in the national championship. I mean, I know there's a difference between murdering somebody and doing what he's doing. But still, um, what he's just doing is stupid. I, I mean, I haven't lost complete respect for him, but, I mean, it, it's it's getting there. I mean, you can only have so many things that you do. It's just, it's just okay, we got the Johnny Man's... Manziel thing out of the way. Okay, I try not to try not to uh, trash too much there because there's been enough of that in the off season. I'm not gonna go there. But on the game, okay, I saw some comments on Haas's video because he made a comment saying that uh, who else do you have other than Johnny Manziel? I mean, I know I have to have some. They have some pretty good skill position players, but what they're saying, they have the best backfield in the country. Are you kidding me? That has to be the biggest joke I have seen this whole entire season thus far. Saying Texas A&M has the best backfield in the country? You are kidding me. You That is a joke. Ben Molina, is, he's okay. But who else do they have? I'm sorry. If I don't know Texas A&M's second string running back and his everything about him. I'm pretty sure if they had the best backfield in the country, I would know something about them. I would. You see me on here every week talking about football. I know a pretty good bit about football. And if Texas A&M had the, was even considered for the best backfield in the country, I would know something about it. And I don't. I'm sorry. If you think Texas A&M has the best backfield in the country, there's something wrong with you. The offensive line top ten in the nation? No. No. Jake Matthews is the only, only lineman that is projected to be in the NFL. If you're going to be the best line in a top ten line in the country, no, no, uh, you lose the number two pick in the draft. Your offensive line goes down just like that. Um, no, the only there's two wide receivers that are decent for a And M: Mike Evans and Ricky Seals Jones, who's a freshman. Who I still believe has not proved himself yet. He has to prove himself before I consider him a good wide receiver. Mike Evans, okay, I'll give you that. But those are the only two receivers that are decent. And you're throwing out all these 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 hate hateful comments and calling people stupid because we believe there's only Johnny Manziel. You have some pretty you have some decent talent around him, but not as much as you did last season. And with the the loss to Luke Jockle, that that's Jockle, that's huge. Um, I mean, you have you have decent talent, but not near what you're making it out to be. The best backfield in the country, that is a joke. 
Okay, what wide receivers do you have behind Seals Jones and Mike Evans? Nobody noteworthy. And to be an elite team, you got to have more than two noteworthy wide receivers. And they don't. And don't even get me started on that defense. I saw a comment saying that the defense is going to be one of the best in the country. We just have people suspended. No, that's about as ridiculous as the uh, the best running back, best backfield in the country comment. Okay. You do have how many people? Six. We had six start. They had six starters suspended for the uh, Rice game, and nonetheless, you should not be giving up that many points and looking that pathetic against Rice, even with six players miss missing. That's no, no. And then I believe you got two of those players back, and some of those players were only suspended for a half, so some of them came back, I believe, in the Rice game. And in the same Houston State game, same Houston State is an FCS school. Okay, I understand. At Sam Houston State, somebody will come on here and comment and say, "Oh, Sam Houston State, they compete in the FCS every season. They almost won the national championship in the FCS every season. That's that's why they scored so many points and all we had suspensions. Who cares if they play in the FCS and compete every year? If you're competing for the FBS or believe you're competing." and irrelevant in the FBS level in competing for a national championship, you should not have to come up with excuses on why you gave up however many points you did the same Houston State. I believe it was more than a, a good bit more than 20. And even if you're so excited because you're getting all your players back, oh, just so, so randomly on the same day you play the University of Alabama, the best team in the country, you get them back. This is their first live game of this season. You don't think they're going to struggle? Yes, they're going to struggle. Okay, I understand. Our offensive line played ho horrible week one. But that was a good against a good defense. Texas A&M does not have a good defense. Who on defense do you have that's projected to be a number one first round pick? I don't know anybody. I'm sorry if I'm too stupid and y'all are smart and know you have some guy that nobody else in the country's heard about that you, you think since you're such a homer that they're going to be – and number one draft pick, and you're going to comment in here trying to make me look stupid because I don't know who they are. Okay, I know that's going to happen because that's what you trolls do. I'm sorry. Test 99% of the country and ask them if they know of one defensive player that's projected to be in the NFL draft next year for Texas A&M. I bet you 99% will say no, none. But yet, Texas A&M fans will come on here, the bandwagon fans they are, and comment and trash just because we don't know that player. And they there is none. There is no one player for A&M's defense that, that's noteworthy at all. They, the two defensive ends are gone. They were uh, draft, early, uh, first, first, second round picks last season, I believe. Demontre Moore and the other guy. who They were good, but they're gone. They're gone. And I already mentioned about Johnny Manziel, but we game planned. We, we've, been, we've been eyeing this one particular player for almost a year now. I mean, you see what we do in national championship games and bowl games in general. Don't even bring up the Utah game. That is just stupid if you bring that up. Okay? You see what we do in national championship games when we have a month to prepare. We dominate completely. There's not been one national championship game that we have not dominated in aside from the first one. And that's because that was our worst team out of any of these by far. And give us... Almost a year to prepare for one player. We prepared for him in 15 minutes, 20 minutes during halftime, and he came out, did nothing in the second half. Give us a whole year with a the best defense in the country? No. He is not going to have near of a performance. This game isn't going to be decided on Johnny Manziel. He's not going to have, no. It's not, he's not going to be the person to, to, to jolt a and to victory. It's going to be, if our offensive line can hold up against a and defensive line and their linebackers and whoever on defense, which I believe we will, and that's what will give us the victory. Johnny Menzel will not have 90% of the impact that he did in last year's game. And I believe that's obvious, and a lot of people expect that. And a lot, I mean, you can't even say that some of that might be a reason of, um, the off-season issues with him and being distracted. I mean, I know he's going to be a little in sync before the Alabama game, but with Johnny Menzel, he's probably partying out to 2 o'clock the next morning. 
before the game. I mean, that's just how Johnny Manziel, Manziel is, and that's where his leadership skills just go right down the drain because he's Johnny Manziel, and he thinks he can do whatever he wants because Kevin Sumlin don't know how to to uh, discipline his own players. Um, with all due respect, I think Kevin Sumlin is a head coach, and he's put in a horrible situation because I think it's really not – he doesn't really have his say so that he wants to. I think it was up to him alone. Manziel would have been suspended a long time ago, but with the authorities above, he kind of can't. But he's still the head coach, and if he thought it was absolutely necessary, he could do it if he wanted to. He could suspend Manziel, but he's not. He's not. And I think he, he knows it's the right thing to do. I mean, you have the nerve to have all the offseason talk about you and I and he plays it off like he doesn't want it and then he comes the first game finally getting to play back and when he knows the spotlight's on him he he knows 95 percent of the country's talk uh watching him and gonna talk about every little thing he does and he does the stupid thing of the unsportsmanlike penalty the uh signing the autograph in midair it's just so stupid decisions that correlate into a quarterback position that's the biggest, most important position on a football team, and you're not when you make stupid decisions that translate into into your play. That translates into your play, and that's not gonna fly. You're not gonna be able to make any mistakes against our defense, and he's gonna make mistakes. He's gonna do something stupid. Our players are gonna taunt him. That's we're gonna do that. Our defense is probably gonna do that on purpose, just to try to pull out a penalty, try to uh, break out something in them. That will make him perform poorly, and that probably could happen. I mean, did you read the golf stories on him? He apparently has anger management issues, and uh, it's just I would not be doing this video if it wasn't for the stupid, idiotic bandwagon fans I've been seeing comment and hate on videos, and they don't see any of them making videos themselves. Um, and I normally a lot of hate for this video, but I, I really don't care because it's all going to be ignorant and them fans that have been fans for two years or a year, and try to make me look stupid about one little fact that I said when 99% of the country doesn't know that either. And it's probably not even true, but just because they can type and try to make me look stupid, they're going to say it. That's just how the internet goes and how idiots go. So if you're an a fan out there and you're going to do that, go ahead because you're stupid and I think you're ignorant and just idiotic. And I cannot wait till everything I just said is completely 100% proven on Saturday because I believe full heartedly that we're gonna go out there and stomp A and M to the curb. The poor defense, the game plan for Manziel, the the playmakers that are not enough to overcome that offense in the defense of Alabama, they're nowhere the playmakers are nowhere near nowhere near what you're making them out to be. They're decent. They're good. Uh, Mike Evans is good. Stills Jones has a chance to be good. But get out of here with the best backfield in the country. No, get out of here. That's stupid. Now, that's just downright ignorant. <sighs> okay, and I, I sh I'm going to try to find if there's anything else that some of the stupid comments. Top five receiving core in the country? Okay, I, I totally forgot about that. Are you kidding me? Mike okay, Mike Evans? Ricky Sellers, J Seals, J Jones? Whatever, frick, whatever his name is. That, you're an idiot if you think that makes the best wide receiver core in the country. You are an idiot. If that makes the top five wide receiver core in the country, what does that make our wide receiver core? We have the best wide receiver core we might have ever had at the University of Alabama, ever. And we're just, we're lucky that our offensive line play, play poor. If we can get an offensive line that can that can develop and pass protect, which I think will be a great learning experience this week because we play in a pretty poor front seven. A great opportunity for all our wide receivers to go off. And, um, okay, Trey Carson. Who is that? I've never heard of the dude. Ever. Bet you 99% of the country's never heard of him either. And they're going to make me look stupid because i never heard of him. Go, go survey 99% of the country. I bet you half the analysts don't know who he is. Brandon Williams? Never heard of him either. Um, Sabian Holmes? Malcolm Kennedy? I'm pretty sure if they're top premier players who's made you one of the best offensive players in the country, a guy like me who has a radio show who 
does this and consistently knows a lot about football, uh, who writes for a newspaper, I'm pretty sure I would know this kind of stuff because I know some of the most stupid, random, just useless facts about football, useless players that nobody cares about. I'm pretty sure I would know about players that that provide and and um com contribute to one of the best wide receiver cores or backfield in the country. No. Stupid. I'm going to end that right there. And um, here's another comment. Didn't you and the classless Bama fans, fans of Bama, learn anything last year? Just, that, that's stupid. These, I mean, these people are so ignorant and stupid. Anything else stupid? I don't even... Anything? Anything? Okay. That's it, guys. That's my hate. This is probably gonna be the only hate video I'm doing all year just because they, they sparked it. I mean, I, I'm, I know for a fact I'm gonna get hate for this video. But you know what? Give me the views. Give me the money. I make money off my videos. If you wanna hate, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm getting that cash. Appreciate it. Catch you guys later. Roll Tide to you. Can't wait till this weekend. Have a great day, guys. Peace.